I was with George when he was asked what his favorite quality in Paige was, and without any hesitation, he said that she was the kindest person he had ever met. She has a genuine level of caring for others and animals that, had, that he had never encountered before. That quality in Paige led to her applying to vet school very early in their relationship. Paige told me that George didn't bat an eye. He was going to stand with her no matter where that took her. And that level of support and commitment so early in the relationship is how she knew that he was the real deal. Personally, I knew they were going to be together forever at my own wedding. Not only were they affectionate and generally seemed like the perfect couple, but later in the evening, George was dancing so hard he split his pants. <laughs> but it didn't phase either of them, and they stayed on the dance floor until we shut it down. <laughs> It takes a special woman to stand by a man like that. <laughs> as long as time, you and me, to all the others, may rest in peace. I've written both of our names in the sky. Today, you begin a new journey together, the greatest adventure of your lives. From this day on, wherever you go, you no longer go alone. Someone will be there by your side. Marriage will allow you a new environment to share your lives, standing together to face life and the world hand in hand. Marriage is going to expand you as individuals, define you as a couple, and deepen your love for one another. From the time you've been together, you have learned many of the quirks, habits, and traits that drive each other crazy. And you also know that there's no one else you'd rather make this journey with. Joy told me this morning that I was thinking, how long have George and Paige been dating and known each other? And I was thinking five years. But then she told me they've known each other for over seven years. So that was a, a big surprise for me this morning. <laughs> <laughs> but it was also a nice surprise because we were talking and both of us said, you know what? I think we knew seven years ago that George was the guy. George is the keeper. So, Petro family, thank you very much for, for allowing us to know George and love George and welcome, in, welcome him to our side of the family, too. So I met George for the very first time when a lot of you also met George for the first time. My parents had a summer barbecue pool party. It might even have been Labor Day weekend. Yeah, a few years ago. 
Um, everybody was there who was going to ask Paige a million questions. <laughs> Grammy was there. The Lorenzes were all there. Um, Judy, Molly, my mom's best friends were there. Craig and Laura, who are mine and Connor's best friends. <laughs> we were all there. <laughs> um, I knew Paige was pretty anxious on the inside, knowing what the, the crowd she was around. But, <laughs> you know, it was all good. Surprise, surprise, George was the hit of the party. <laughs> he was yakking it up with everybody. <laughs> um, he fit in immediately, and it was just really nice to see my sister having a good time. So fast forward a year from then, and Paige was in veterinary school. She moved up to UC Davis, and George followed her up to Northern California a few months after that, and I kind of knew George was the one after that because the fact that you supported Paige during the four toughest years of her education and you didn't hold her back at all from reaching her goals of becoming a veterinarian were pretty great to see and that solidified my love for you George. <laughs> so I'm not Paige, I'm not going to tell any embarrassing stories about you. Don't worry, uh, I really don't have any. <laughs> um, I was the mean, or not mean, I was the bossy older sister, and um, you know, she went along with it. Bless your heart. <laughs> um, but Paige, I just think you're amazing. You're the definition, I think, of grace, loyalty, smarts, and you're a little sassy too, which, which I like. <laughs> and I'm very lucky to have you for a sister. So. Um, I'm so excited to see where the future takes you both. I hope it includes all the rescue dogs, uh, lots of Great Notion beer, uh, Law and Order reruns, but maybe not that pink beef eater hat, George. <laughs> maybe that can be left in San Clemente. <laughs> uh, so I love you both. George, welcome to my crazy family, but congratulations. <laughs> or Ross, as many of you know him as. The last seven years with you have been incredible. I can't believe how far we've come since we met in 2014. I was living with my parents for a year while applying to vet school and you were working in Irvine after moving to California the year before. Since then, there have been a lot of adventures, new cities, new jobs, and challenging moments along the way. Neither of us, the pragmatic people we are, believe in fate or the idea of there being only one person in the world that we can be happy with, but even I knew on our first date that you were truly special. When we first met, I told you of my plans to go to vet school, which meant I would have to relocate far from Southern California. You fully supported my dream and celebrated each acceptance letter with me. The pressure of long distance is a lot to ask of a new relationship, and I distinctly remember my sister telling me that if you loved me, which she knew she, that you did, you'd wait for me through vet school. You not only waited for me, you moved to the Bay Area to be closer to me, supported me through a grueling four years, 
and to this day continue to support my crazy schedule as a veterinarian. You've shown me what a true partner looks like, and I've come to realize that love is so much more than an emotion. It's a daily choice to accept and cherish another person for all that they are. And George, you've consistently loved and chosen me every day, even when I know it has not been easy. And I promise to keep choosing you every single day as your wife. I'm shaking really bad. So. <laughs> Uh, I promise to support your ambitions and passions, even football and WWE, <laughs> and adopt more dogs with you in the future. I promise to hold you accountable and push you to be the best version of yourself. I promise to never take you for granted. Previously, I used to think that if we, if we could make it through four years of vet school, we could make it through anything. But now I know that if we can make it through months of lockdown in our apartment together and planning a wedding during a pandemic, there's nothing that can stop us. I love you forever. I'm so proud of the man that you've become, and I cannot wait to see our life unfold together. Paige, Poojie, Cootie, <laughs> Booty. <laughs> some people swipe left, some people swipe right. Others swipe right, rapid fire, until their hand cramps. I'm thankful every day of my life for being the latter. It wasn't hard to want to message you. Your big almond eyes, your beautiful white smile, your ability to drink through a straw, uh, a vague background about playing volleyball and going to school on the East Coast and living with your parents. What more could a guy want while stuck in a queue with a dial tone in his ears? <laughs> From yard house to our house, our journey to date has far exceeded my wildest imaginations. Um, I'm not one for the metaphysical belief, but I believe you were meant for me. And I for you. When I repeated Connor Ober's words while driving down the five seven years ago, I met them. And I mean them just as much today. I'm glad I did not die before I met them. Just about every day for seven years, you've asked, what do you love about me? Despite my repeated attempts to assure you everything, your determination for more specific examples has not waned. <laughs> <laughs> if I were you to use another word in place of everything to try and cover the same breadth of things that I love about you, I would need to rely on a previously used word, determination. Your determination is the embodiment of all the things that I love about you. Your determination to get your questions answered. <laughs> your determination to achieve, achieve your dreams and goals. Your determination to do the hardest job on the planet. Your determination to be kind when the world gives you every reason not to be. Oh. Your determination to see alternative perspectives. Your determination to spoil Daisy May. <laughs> your determination to watch Law and Order on Sunday mornings, even in the fall. <laughs> your determination to help me be the best version of myself. And your determination to love me and make our relationship healthy and strong. As we head into our next chapter, I'm told by the internet that I am supposed to make some promises, but then this would be too long, and I'm already over the word count that I was told. <laughs> so I'll leave it with this. You are my best friend. I love you with all my heart. I want nothing more to share my future with you. Our triumphs, our challenges, our joys together. Uh, I know we can accomplish the life we both dream of living.
And eventually, we had our first game. You know, and I was, uh, we got on the bus, we were on our team bus, and Ross was sitting in the front, talking to everybody, you know, I, I went to the back, uh, the, I was sitting next to the only vacant seat on this bus, because I was the new kid, and oh, also I was just bad at football, so like, no one respected me, right, no one had reason to respect me, so I, I, I sat there by myself, and uh, we were driving up. We had a couple hours. This is we had we had a couple hour bus ride, and so I was sitting there, and all of a sudden, about halfway through, I hear coming from the front. I hear Jeff. I go, yeah. Are you Jewish? I go, yeah. He goes. Can we become friends? <laughs> and we have. We've been best friends ever since. <laughs> this is... Um, and I know it, it was a long and winding road to get to that moment, right? But that was a very important moment to me. That was a profound change in my life when I entered the orbit of Ross Petro. <laughs> and that orbit, you know, it's not, it's not a quiet one. It's not timid. Paige knows. <laughs> but it forces you to become, I think, the person you're meant to be. And, you know, you enter that orbit, there's this uh, charisma, this energy, and this love that you truly feel when you become friends with Ross Petro. And it changed my life. I wouldn't be, you know, a confident, outgoing person without having that relationship in my life. And I don't think I ever thanked you for that. <laughs> so I also first met Paige when she came to, came to Wisconsin. I remember we went to my parents' house, you know, and we're all just interviewing Paige the whole time because we're like, okay, this is it. This is, this is the relationship. Now you have to answer all of our questions. Even my parents, you know, were like, Ross don't mess this up. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and of course, like that was one of the first trials, right? That's one of the most important steps in a relationship. You have to confront each other's past if you want to build a future together. And that was just one of the first trials. And we've talked about some of those other trials. You know, Paige became a doctor. Um, they, they moved, they had long distance. But those trials, those, that, that's how, you, that's how you, you, you create a bond, right? Forged in fire through those trials. Now you have your whole future to look forward to. As uh, Colby said, right? The future will consist of a lot of, a lot of dog time, a lot of uh, Law & Order SVU reruns. You know? um, when Paige and Ross visited New York City, you know, I asked them what they wanted to do. And I was like, we go to a Broadway show, we could go see a famous museum. And they were like, no, we want to go to the courthouse that has the steps that are featured on the opening credits of SVU. <laughs> and that's what we did. We got some good photos, you know. I think Ross was wearing that pink beef eater hat. Um, And before I end, and don't worry, I'm ending. I, uh, I just I want you both to know I love you both so much. And I'm so, so happy for you. <laughs>